going to show you how to enter how to enable GST and uh, how to end purchase transaction GST purchase transaction sales transaction and uh, debit note credit note okay and I will show you the report also and uh, I will show you how to correct if uh, some errors are there okay so let us start first uh, you need to enable the GST in any company it will not be enabled okay in new company so you have to enable it go to f11 from the gateway f tally go to f11 here you have statutory and taxation select that enter first option you have enable goods and service tax services tax okay yes if it is no you have to enable it why enter why enter here you have to select the state okay and uh, registration type regular and composition and uh, you see of other territory uh, i don't need that gst gst in okay and this is very important you have to enter here and uh, you have to enter applicable from uh, from where your company is starting so in the uh, company creation screen uh, what uh, what is the date you are entering and that is the date you have to enter here okay so it will take automatically if it is not taking you have to enter and uh, periodicity for gstr1 how you it is uh, in your company yeah, some company files in uh, i mean so monthly some co company quarterly okay so enter all these things uh, as per your company requirement okay enter 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 enter, enter. accept accept it. again the screen also you have to accept enter accept so again you will come back to the screen so escape from here so now gst is enabled first what you have to do is you have to create ledgers so accounting accounts info ledgers I have showed you in my previous class how to create ledgers. Okay, you can uh, watch that video. And I have some ledgers created already, so I'll go to that. Alter. So I have one customer ledger. As you know, how to create customer ledger. I have uh, my video. Okay, I will uh, paste the description uh, link in the description. You can uh, refer to that video for escaping. This is customer ledger. So one more thing you have to remember is uh, you have to enter registration type and uh, this uh, GST of the customer, customer or supplier. Okay, here it is customer, so you have to enter the customer uh, GST, and uh, I have uh, input GST. This input GST I have uh, means uh, one uh, common CGST is GST I can create, but uh, I need separate report. Okay, it will give you how much I have in uh, I have uh, paid input for input, input GST and I, I how much I have paid for output GST. I need to get all these things, so I have created separately. So uh, input GST it should be under. <coughs> duties and taxes okay that is the group duties and taxes so type of duty gst okay uh, here cgst input cgst means central that is so you have to select tax types central tax okay. percentage uh, this is the uh, means uh, uh, we have uh, 18 uh, percentage of stock item we are dealing with so i am taking uh, cgst 9 SGST 9 so here 9 percent in the CGST enter rounding rounding method uh, you can use it I don't want to use it now so I'm entering enter 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 accepted so input CGST is done and uh, the same way input GST the difference is uh, here duties and taxes same here uh, type of duty GST here you will select state FGST means a state tax it will go to state tax, uh, state government okay so percentage of calculation 9 9 9 18 integrated 18 percent so uh, uh, 9 for the uh, central 9 for state so okay enter 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 
so input uh, uh, cgs ts ts t is done okay the same way for uh, sales it is for uh, purchase input cgs ts ts t uh, the same way for sales i have created out cgst and cst and the configuration is same uh, under duty syntaxes type of duty gst central for cgst percentage is same nine for 18 you have uh, different percentages 18 28 uh, 12 and uh, 5 so as for that uh, according to your uh, uh, stock item, wh what you are dealing with uh, what is the percentage applicable on the basis of that you have to uh, uh, set up these things okay uh, so output uh, SGST is also same under duty sentences type of duty GST uh, GST is uh, nothing but uh, state tax so percentage is 9 <laughs> Uh, again, I need uh, one purchase ledger and a sales ledger. Okay, purchase. Purchase the same uh, ledger, it will be like uh, I showed in my uh, previous uh, video. So, the difference is uh, it will be under purchase, group is purchase. So, enter, enter, enter. Here, uh, method, of, uh, method of approach and purchase invoice. Uh, take it appropriation appropriate by value okay enter is gst applicable uh, here you have to say applicable okay if it is not applicable you have to select uh, you have to press space bar and select applicable and here you have to say yes set all to gst details okay enter yes so i am uh, i have entered description hsn and uh, hsn codes and everything so if it is not entered, uh, uh, you will have, you will face a problem in generating report. I will show you that also. Okay, I have entered all these things. So here you have nature of transaction, different nature of transactions. Uh, according to your uh, requirement, you can select. I uh, am selecting normal purchase taxable. Okay, integrated tax is 18 percentage. Okay, here you have to enter integrated tax 18. Enter, enter. So type of supply uh, is. Uh, Two types of supplies are there. One is goods and one more is sub, uh, services. Okay, I'm selecting goods. Enter, enter, accept. Okay, the same way I need sales. Sales ledger. Sales under it will go to sales group. Okay, and inventory in the sales and purchase ledger, you, the inventory values are affected. It should be yes. Okay, enter, enter. Here it should be applicable. If it is not applicable, you know how to make applicable and uh, set alter GST details here. Also, you say yes and uh, enter description, HSN code of that uh, HSN code of the product, okay, which you are dealing with. Enter here. Uh, if you have not entered HSN code, uh, there is no problem. In the stock item, while creating stock item, you have to enter. I will show you where to enter that. Okay. Uh, nature of transactions. Here, um, different uh, nature of transactions are there. Okay. Exports, imports are related to everything. So, I am uh, normal. I am using normal sales tax ever. Okay. Enter. It is integrated tax 18%. Enter, enter. Here also, type of supply is goods. Okay. Enter, enter, enter. So we have created GST ledgers, input and output, CGST, SGST, and uh, sales, which is the same way customer and supplier ledger. Okay, these many ledgers are uh, required for uh, GST transaction. Okay, you know, supplier ledger here also it should be. Registration type, uh, regular, uh, whatever uh, your uh, supplier is, you have to select that. And the GST is GST, you have to enter here. Verify the GST because uh, the format uh, it is understanding there is some problem in this. So I have uh, used a dummy GST, so it is saying verify the party GST. Okay, I don't want to verify this and just enter, 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 enter. 
so all the ledgers are created now uh, let's go to transactions from gateway of Kelly accounting vouchers first I will enter one purchase okay GST purchase purchase on one four I am entering supplier invoice number I say one 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 paper one okay and the date is same <laughs> this is supplier invoice date okay and it may be previous date of this okay uh, when I have supplied uh, when he has raised when we are booking the uh, purchase in our book this should be this is the date of our book entry okay this is the date of supplier invoice number uh, invoice date okay both should may be different or same okay enter here you have supplier customer cash okay here uh, purchase you have to select supplier okay your supplier enter you can fill all these things if you want okay. these things are uh, fetched to, uh, from the ledger inside ledger okay all these things okay enter so name of it <coughs> here you have to select name of item i have two items one is nil rated one is taxable so stock item let us go to stock item uh, we have to configure for uh, gst just I am entering control enter from here okay if it is not there you can create by pressing alt c okay here I am saying control enter to alter this so it is under stock group okay stock item name under stock group you can select primary or uh, you can create a uh, very suitable uh, stock group okay units I say numbers or the standard rates GST applicable here you have to say applicable okay if it was uh, selected not applicable just uh, press space bar select applicable here you have to say yes. yes here you have to enter the uh, stock item description and uh, this uh, HSN code okay uh, as per uh, government has uh, some classification okay for your products uh, and under which it will come all this hardware item uh, many uh, classifications are there so you can uh, enter the description of that uh, item and uh, i say just uh, a b c hsn code anything it may be is a one two three four five six seven okay thank you this calculation tip is on value okay have to select on value uh, taxability here i am taking taxable okay stock item is taxable here you have to enter what is the uh, tax rate for this item you have to enter full rate okay here uh, there is no bifurcation of cgst and uh, cgst integrated complete percentage you have to allocate 80 you see applicable from okay in the future if it is changing you can just change this uh, date okay uh, if uh, the same uh, stock item is uh, changing from 18 to 28 just you have you can uh, enter the same date so it will not affect your previous entries so, okay okay enter goods type of supply goods okay enter 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 enter, enter, enter. accept so I say 100 quantity rate 100 okay enter. here you have to select the ledger purchase ledger enter uh, in the same uh, entry I will show you uh, nil rated how to account nil rated item also okay and uh, the in the CGST CGST calculation the nil rate, uh, rated item will skip okay I will show you how that is it will be done you can select nil rated item also okay here uh, the configuration of that item just to select that item control enter from here and the statutory information now uh, hit alter gst details you say yes okay here i have entered some uh, description uh, 
okay enter value here taxability will rate it okay enter books here i say 100 Two hundred twenty thousand. Okay, here you have to select uh, the purchase ledger, uh, separate purchase ledger. You have to uh, select for this. Okay, you you should have a multi uh, multiple purchase ledgers. Okay, I have created nil rated purchase also. Let us see how it is. Just say Control Enter. It is under purchase as usual. So method of appropriation is not required applicable gst is applicable you say yes okay here it is uh, if you have not entered also no problem purchase nil rated here you have to select nil rated okay there are many classifications nature of transactions here you select nil rated enter good so now now from here when you enter it will come to next item okay if uh, only two items you want to enter in the purchase just blank enter enter so from here enter blank enter so you will get ledgers in the list okay so you have to select input cgst 900 it is calculating on only 10,000 see 10,009 percent is 900 it is ignoring this because i have configured everything uh, everything in it in this okay so in stock item is nil rated and purchase ledger also i have selected nil rated so it is igno ignoring okay while calculating gst input gst input is gst so it is calculated. Enter. Enter. Here you have to new reference. Select new reference. Enter. Enter. This library knows number or uh, you can enter any other reference also if you want a better you use the supplier invoice number because while making the payment it will be useful. So credit days if you have some you can enter. 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 If you want to write some narration you can write. Enter. Accept. Okay. Now we'll go to report and check how uh, it is affected in uh, C GST report. I'm escaping from here. I'm going to display statutory report GST GSTR one. Okay. In the GSTR one report, it has to show in the B two B invoices the pr present transaction what I have posted, but it is not. Uh, showing here okay sorry here uh, it will show now gstr two, uh, sorry gstr 2 is for purchase gstr 1 is for sales okay B2B invoices 30,000 is taxable value, okay, and uh, total tax is uh, 1800, 900, and 900. Total ITC available 1800, okay, and uh, here invoices with uh, mismatch information one, okay, it is not ready for. Uh, a return, okay, so what you have to do, it should come here that means you have correct entry if it is not here uh, you have to correct it it is showing invoices with mismatch so you have to enter on that just information required for generating table waste details not provided just enter on that what it is showing as i said it is showing just in is not specified or invalid it is specified but invalid it is showing I have used uh, dummy uh, this one justin so what I'm doing is just accept as it is okay except justin if everything is correct just even though justin is correct it is showing this you can just accept this normally it will not happen 
uh, if DSTN is uh, correct, uh, it will take directly. So here it is dummy. It is understanding the form format is uh, something wrong. So it is uh, showing here DSTN validation. So I will accept as it is. Okay, it is cleared from here. Now you can see it is included in return and invoice is ready for returns. Okay, GSTR two. GSTR two for purposes. Okay, GSTR one is for fails. Here the total number of transactions is showing, but it is not relevant. You can see here not relevant for this return means GSTR one return. It is not not relevant. So next what you have to do we will post the sales transaction okay counting watches sales reference if you want you can type we'll do uh, change the sales state to for take party account name customer okay all these things if you want enter here uh, you may be experiencing some uh, uh, different thing here okay normally you will get uh, sales led or purchase led to select here here you are not getting okay so uh, why i have disabled that is uh, because uh, i am accounting to uh, this I means two type of uh, sales or purchase one is taxable one is nil rated okay so you have if you want the same you can uh, do this by going to when uh, sales or purchase you just go to f12 configuration use common ledger account for item allocation you have to say no if it is yes you will uh, get the, uh, you will get the option to select purchase or sales later here, but uh, you can account only one uh, type of uh, product whether it is taxable or annual rated. Here, I want to account both, so I am uh, disabling this. You can't let the account for item allocation. I said no. So, what the effect is each for each item, it will allow us to select the sales are purchased later okay so i'm selecting stock item uh, this is taxable so what we have it will show you what is the stock available okay stock item this is the closing stock available with you 100 numbers we have uh, let me sell 70 i'll say 300 okay I want to make uh, output CGS uh, output GST more output GST okay yeah then input because I want to generate payable and I have to make the payment entry to show payment entry I'm increasing this uh, output GST okay so 21 sales here it is taxable sales a uh, ledger this control enter and check it how it is it is as uh, usual applicable gst details all these things are there it is not there also no problem say so taxable here integrated tax percentage at the applicable date enter right. okay so next item space bar nil rated if you select nil rated it is the same thing is there uh, here with the cell 50 and uh, 3 200 okay now you can see one thing i will show you with the enter instead of selecting nil uh, rated sales if you select sales normal taxable sales what happens i will show you what CGST it will calculate on total. You can see this. See, just uh, say Alt C from that uh, amount field. Okay, Alt C 31,000 into 9%. 
2790 that means it is calculating on total that is wrong the second item is nil rated it should ignore this for that what you have to do when you enter on the item you will allow mm, to select the ledgers okay you should have multiple ledgers so just press space bar you will get all the sales ledgers so you select nil rated sales here okay enter now it is automatically changed 1890 is the half of 2790 you want you can just look and just write it back to this thousand sorry no 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 not divided by two you have to uh, calculate on 21,000. You have to ignore 10,000. 21,000 into 9. 6,890. So it is ignoring this nil rated. Okay. Is it clear? So enter output CGST. Output SGST. Enter. enter. Here also you have to click new reference. Sales invoice number is as a reference. Enter, 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 enter. This thing, this details you will get in GSTR one. Okay, go to display statutory report GST GSTR one. Okay, here it is not showing any details. Okay, so why let us check. That is incomplete mismatch. Okay, one is not relevant. That is purchase. One is incomplete mismatch. Check it. What is that? Enter. Enter. Here also GST. Okay, GST problem. So if you have a uh, wrong GST, it will show you here. Okay, just correct it, and you have to just correct and accept it. It will clear from uh, this uh, error screen okay uh, what i am doing i don't want to use any uh, gst valid gst so i am accepting as it is yes so it is cleared from this uh, screen so it is now it is under b2b invoices okay all the things are there taxable value and uh, taxable amount total invoice amount everything is there okay so total invoice amount 34780 but uh, it is ignoring 10,000 okay uh, no uh, the total amount including uh, GST it is uh, the accessible value for uh, tax calculation is 31 but uh, it is not taking complete 31,000 it is ignoring 10,000 only on 21,000 it is calculating if you want you can check gst9 is gst9 okay 1000 into 18 percent can you see this 3780 so this is the total amount including gst so you know how to clear the error also now okay now uh, just uh, I will post one uh, debit note and credit note also. Okay, accounting vouchers. Here you have debit note. If you are if debit note and credit note is uh, not showing, if it is hide hidden, what you have to do? You have to enable this. You have to go to F11 features. F11 in the accounting <coughs> features you will get this thing okay enable here use debit and credit notes you have to say yes credit notes in invoice mode invoice mode means you have to select the stock item if you have if you are not uh, dealing any stock items so only accounting you are using you are not using any inventory in that case uh, you don't need this option to be enabled uh, here uh, we are using stock items so I am enabling this enter 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 it Except after doing this you will get these options credit note and debit note 
debit note is for purchase return credit note is for sales return okay for other purpose also you can use but normally we use uh, this for debit note for purchase return and uh, sales return for credit note for sales return so original invoice number what was there purchase one 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 okay and the original invoice date was one four okay if you are confused uh, you can go back to the purchase entry and uh, you can pick it original invoice number and date or uh, you have a hard copy of that uh, invoice you can uh, enter from that okay player player can enter all these things if you want I'm not entering anything so what was the item only stock taxable item <coughs> is uh, we are uh, sending back okay so we had purchased uh, some 100 items okay so I am uh, returning 20 at the same rate so purchases everything is okay so in fact that you have to return this cgst stst also okay it will take automatically stst okay enter enter here it will ask for the uh, reason why you are raising this uh, debit note here if you have any related you can select if you if you have nothing to select you can uh, say others are not applicable okay i say not applicable or others i say supplier invoice number you will get <coughs> number you have to enter the uh, debit note uh, number what is that one okay what is the date you are uh, giving the debit note to? Okay, enter. Here you have to select against reference because you are raising this debit note against the purchase which you have made on first. Okay, so against if you select against reference, it will be reversed. I uh, mean, uh, the amount uh, what is uh, outstanding to the supplier that will deduct from the amount, and this uh, debit note amount will be deducted from that uh, total purchase amount okay if you select second reference if you select any other uh, there will be some problem okay enter enter enter, enter. now you can go to display statutory report gst just here to it for purchase okay now we here it is so invoices with mismatch information let us check what it is again it is same just in escape now it is clear okay ready for uh returns f2 the same way i can uh, arise credit note credit note is nothing but debit note is uh, which is given uh, from a customer you will enter as credit note okay. the original invoice uh, what we have made the customer invoice number is one okay and this date second okay and the same date we are returning so customer this customer which customer the same customer you have to select okay I'm returning only we are getting stock item taxable stock item okay we have sold 70 items 70 numbers so 20 is returning the same rate so here everything is okay and space bar or cgst 
by a debit note number uh, what uh, you you can see on the debit note given by the player uh, sorry customer uh, the same uh, uh, debit note number you can enter here okay the date on what uh, which date he has given debit note customer on the same uh, date you have to enter okay i say same or uh, two four we have made so two four Here also you have to select against reference okay same bill it will pop up and there will be multiple if you have multiple bill uh, all the bills will uh, list out here you have to select required uh, the proper uh, bill okay enter enter here if you can if you want you can enter the narration enter. So, you go to display that's to report gst gst f1 here also incomplete mismatch one enter what is that here it is showing it is in code okay here hsn code if you want you can type here hsn code if you have okay one two three five six seven four it is i'm entering so it is cleared now it is where it is again some incomplete or mismatch here it has to show to write with uh credit note so here also it will it has to show but it is not showing that means some error is there here it is listed out one enter 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 already the same gst i'm expecting as it is yes so now it is cleared now you can see here taxable value tax amount the total amount here included in summary okay now uh, uh hope uh, you understood this uh, let me make uh, the table means payment also what is the gst table is there let me see uh, go to balance sheet current liabilities duties and taxes Input GST output GST output GST is 2007 700. Uh, you do all these things, you can do like this. You go to accounting vouchers, okay? Go to F7, debit output GST, CGST, and FGST. What is there? 2050. And output again debit and credit debit output CST. What is that? 1350. Here I am getting this. Okay. Uh, you can you have to enter on that uh, month what is the output. You have to enter that. Okay. Credit input CGST. What is there? What was the input CGST? Stomach. Let me check balance sheet. Input was 720, 720. Okay. So, journal. You have to enter the date. You have to post this month end. Month end. So I am using one for no problem. I'm using this just to show you can use a uh, month in date. Okay. Yes. One four. Not one four. Last entry was of two four. So I left it two four. 
out you have to debit output no credit debit d enter debit 50 input cgst 720 again credit input cgst 720 the balance is you have to uh, Okay, to GST payable, you have to create. Uh, if it is not there, GST payable ledger, you have to create. You have to create. I will just show you. If it is not there, you have to just say Alt C and create it. Uh, I have already created. If you say Alt C, you will get the screen. You have to enter GST payable under current liabilities. Enter it. Okay, so now the remaining balance is payable is 1000. Enter. Enter. Now, if you go to balance sheet, current liabilities, there is no duties and taxes. Only you have GST payable. Now, you can clear this. Go to accounting vouchers. Go to payment. Select cash. Normally, you will pay to bank. So. I say a bank GST payable one to sixty. Okay. Now, if you go to balance it, current liabilities nothing, only supplier payment of spending. Okay. There is no any other liability. No duties and taxes, no GST payable, nothing. Okay. So hope uh, you understood this. If you have any queries or uh, if you uh, feel some, uh, uh, if you feel uh, any other, uh, uh, if you feel any other things, uh, you can comment on the comment box. Okay. Uh, you can give me, give me suggestions also. Okay. Hope. Uh, you like this video if you have not yet uh, subscribe to my channel you, have, you can subscribe okay kindly support until and until the next video bye bye